Hello and good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm so excited that you're here. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. If you don't know my name, don't know who I am, my name is Lucy. I am coming at you at 4.07 p.m. I feel like that's a little bit too late to be drinking a coffee, but I'm about to need it with all of the work that I'm about to do right now. I'm coming at you with a bathroom organization, decorating reorganizational video. And it's been a while since I filmed a house diary video if you guys haven't seen my last home diaries video I think I filmed it literally a year ago you guys loved it so since I'm redoing my bathrooms I figured that I would film it and show you guys since you guys seem to like this kind of content so I wanted to take you guys along and I want to show you guys all the stuff that I got for my bathrooms I'll show you guys a little bit before and obviously and after I really want to organize all of the products that I use on a daily basis in my bathroom but for my guest bathroom I wanted to just feel like I don't know that my guests that stay with me are like staying in a hotel like they're staying in hotel lucy and there's products in there that they could use whenever they feel like it just everything that they need is in that bathroom so i just want to be a good host so i want my guest bathroom to be pristine as you can see behind me i have so many boxes so many shopping bags and it's filled with stuff that i got for this bathroom transformation and before we get into the reorganizing organizing and like decorating the bathrooms i'm going to show you guys everything that i got in this box and and this one and this one I have a ton of products and I firstly just want to say that I am so blessed and so grateful that I receive these products from brands in PR or whenever I work with brands if you guys don't know what PR is PR is basically when brands will send their products to influencers and hopefully the influencers would promote their products on their socials and just share them I do end up giving a lot of these products away to friends even with doing that I still end up with a lot of product and I have to find a way to organize them just because I don't like shoving them just into my bathroom closet. I want to obviously use these products so if I'm just shoving them in a closet I feel like they'll be kind of out of sight out of mind. But I also want to go through some of these things and put some in my guest bathroom so whenever guests come over they can like go through any like makeup products that they need or like skincare products and they can just use them whenever they need to. I also have a ton of shopping bags and I have an Amazon on a box back there and I bought a ton of organizational things. This was the first purchase that I made on a Target pickup order and why did I not make it a drive up pickup order? I thought I did it wrong. I literally went inside and carried all these bags out to my car because I just never has done that before so I was so confused. I was carrying all of these bags by myself and I looked like an idiot but anyways this is the first bag of organizers that I got and I think I got four of these ones. I just got these clear organizers from Target and they're actually a pretty good size so I think I'm gonna have a pretty easy time fitting up my products into these. But I also got another size, which I got six of these ones, which I don't think I needed six of these, but I can just return whatever I don't use. I did get this larger like plastic bin and here's what they look like in comparison. I also got another organizer and I have a smaller version of this one in the guest bathroom, but I wanted to get this one match it. It just looks like this. It's like basically a wire drawer and then it has a shelf on the top and I could just stack them and they'll go together. So I'm going to use this to organize like my hair dryer, my straightener, my curling irons and all that stuff. I also decided to get these two drawer organizers. I already have a few of these but I thought adding a little bit more and make it feel more complete. I also decided to order some of these organizers off of Amazon and I actually have some of these already and they're just so nice. I literally just opened that with my nail. So I'm surprised I didn't break a nail. Perfect. Oh my god, these are so cute. Okay. These drawer organizers, and I have some of these like this in my bathroom already, but I wanted to put these in the guest bathroom so I could put products in there for my guests to use. Tell me why they like really wrapped this. Like what? I literally cannot open this. I want to show you guys what it looks like. I'm just gonna have to show you guys when I put it all together in the guest bathroom. Before I get into organizing the bathrooms, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of what we're working with. First, I'm gonna show you guys the guest bathroom. And I love this bathroom and I'm so excited to redecorate it and reorganize it. So this is my guest bathroom and I absolutely love this bathroom. First, when you walk in, this is what the countertop looks like. Just have this diffuser that is literally not 
not even plugged in. I only plug it in when I'm using it because the cord is like kind of really annoying. And then I have this cute little propagated plant. I just have like the little soap dispenser and this candle in here. And then this is the little towel in the towel holder that I have. We obviously have been living in this house for a few years now. So a lot of the stuff that's in here, I am just going to keep. I'm not going to throw it away and get new stuff just because I like how I decorated it. It just needs a little bit of help. So I'm just going to be redecorating and reorganizing because I still haven't done that yet since we moved in. Last year we had these two shelves installed and I love them so much. I love the wood color and the plant on the top is literally my favorite plant. I've been growing it for literal years and it's so long. It literally goes all the way down to the floor. I feel like if I didn't have this in the bathroom it would look so plain. So I'm definitely keeping this plant in here. And then I also have this like little like rock that I'm pretty sure is from TJ Maxx. I have a little plant above the toilet just to give it a little bit more green. And this is what the shower looks like. It's like a basic shower. Just has a full tub which is so nice and it just has like a regular like I don't know what these are called, attachment, hardware, whatever. I also don't have any rugs in here just because I like how the flooring looks. I want to eventually get a rug. I just can never find one that like fits the squareness of this bathroom. So if I do need one, I just have these sitting right outside, like overneath the bathtub. So whenever I shower in here or if guests shower, they could just lay them down. I also have two cabinets in here and then I have two drawers and this one is like a fake drawer. This is how unorganized it is in here. It's just like a mess and I need to clean it up but I just like throw products in here that I use mostly in this bathroom and then I have like my curler and like other hair tools that I use because I do my hair in this bathroom and then I just have like more hair tools in here like random clips and like random things in here as well so I definitely need to work on organizing those but that is what my guest bathroom looks like and now I'm gonna show you guys my second bathroom which is connected to my bedroom it's an ensuite bathroom and it's the bathroom that I use to do my skincare in the morning. I shower in here. Like I do all my daily things like brush my teeth and everything in this bathroom. This bathroom has the same flooring almost as the guest bathroom and everything as in like hardware and just like the vanity and everything is the same. If you guys don't know, we actually built our house. We have just a picture frame over the toilet to decorate and then I have some like little things that are above the toilet. But this is the closet that gives me the most uh, bad vibes. It just gives me bad vibes every time I go into this closet and I keep everything in this closet and I literally just have been throwing products in there that I just have forgotten about. We're gonna reorganize it and bring good energy back into this bathroom, back into this closet. I'm actually so embarrassed to show you guys what this closet looked like so I'll show you guys a little before clip of what it looks like. I did clean it out but the before literally was shocking. But let me show you guys what it looks like now. Right next to the shower is the closet closet and just open it and you could totally walk in it. It's actually a really big closet. I have a few different shelves here. At the very top I keep like my hair accessories and everything which I really need to fix that because it's overflowing. And here I have like my first aid supplies and then some like travel products. This shelf and then this shelf down here was the main culprit of the problem that was in this closet. But I have a ton of products on this little spinny thing. This one is from Amazon. I have all of my perfumes and stuff in this basket. I keep all of my hair tools and there are some hair tools and attachments in here that I just need to go through. I have all of my towels down here, some random ones and then like a heating pad right there. A lot of work to do in this closet so I'm very excited actually to reorganize this and I'm gonna put all the containers that I showed you guys in the beginning of this video, like the haul I just showed you, in here. So it's gonna look super nice when it's all done. I also have our shower here which I hang some eucalyptus. Hardware in here is like all gold and it matches which I really like. I have like shower shelves in there and whatever but I'm not gonna redo anything in the shower because I like how it looks already so we're not doing that today. One more thing I'm gonna show you guys is a little haul of all the decoration things that I got for my bathrooms just so we get that out of the way. I did make a purchase that I think is going to really change the look of the entire guest bathroom and I'm very excited for it if you can't see it already. I did get a new mirror for the bathroom because the one that's currently 
family and there is like a like builder grade type mirror like it's the one that they put in when they built our house we're gonna have to wait to hang that because it's way too heavy and i don't really know how to do that so i'm gonna wait till joe gets home and he's gonna help me with that bought a new shower curtain for our bathroom because the one that's in there now is like honestly just like really old it just needs to go it needs to be replaced so i got this one and this one is from rachel zoe i did not measure the curtain that i have right now so i hope this one works but it looks super cute on the picture that's on the back and then with that i decided to get another curtain liner curtain liner is just essential to have and then just to be a little extra i decided to get like one of those fancy soaps i don't know just like look really pretty and i thought this one was so cute i don't even know if this smells good because it was covered in plastic so oh it just like it smells like bar soap <laughs> It says it's supposed to smell like ancient rose, rose scented soap. It does not smell like roses, <laughs> but the design on it looks really pretty. So that's a plus. It has like little roses on it. It says La Saponaria Firenze. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. That was so embarrassing. To put the little bar of soap on, I decided to get this a little tray that was from Target and it's just a like a cement soap bar holder. I also have this marble little tray and I actually have not recently purchased this. This was like in my house. I used it as a like remote holder in my living room for the longest time and I decided that I want to like be like those girlies and put like all of my skincare products that I use on a daily basis like in here so they're like sitting right next to my sink so i could just grab them if you guys missed it i went to italy and i don't know how you can or if you don't know about it because i literally cannot shut up about going to italy <laughs> but anyways i was really wanting to purchase something that we could have for our home decor in our house and we found this painting that is from a painter in rome it's like a little view of the positano beach and that's where we went when we went to italy it has a ton of greens on it and you guys saw i have that plant in my bathroom Bathroom, so I thought it would look super cute. I have it wrapped in the plastic wrap because I still have to find a frame to go with it But in the meantime, I'll just have it sitting like I'm thinking like on the shelf last but not least I did decide to get some brand new towels and I'm about to put you guys on the best towels that are so affordable So amazing. They're literally the softest towels ever. I got four of these new towels And these are the better home and gardens bath towels from literally Walmart I bought some years ago and it's finally getting to the point that I have to replace my towels so I just decided to get the same brand because they lasted so long they were so soft that's everything that I have in this little mini decor haul so let's get started with the bathroom makeover I think I'm gonna start with the guest bathroom took away the liquid hand soap and the little candle that was in here and then I just redecorated the countertop with this and I think this looks so much better because it's just less stuff on the counter and honestly I didn't need all of that stuff sitting up here so I think this actually looks a lot better and I really like how it looks so far I also added the painting here and I'm not sure if I want to like have it sit and lean on the shelf or if I actually want to like hang it on the wall I don't know if that's actually like a good thing because the shelves are hung also so I'm not really sure let me know down in the comments what you guys think it's like a temporary thing until i get a like frame for it and also the like other decorations on here i think are temporary too i just like need to find something to put on the shelf and decorate it but right now the plant takes a majority of everything but so far it's looking really cute and i'm loving how it looks the big task is to reorganize literally everything underneath this vanity so i'm gonna get started on that Okay, we've just started and already ran into a small tiny little problem which is going to be okay because I think I figured out how I'm going to do this but it just really sucks because I wanted to set it up like this so they're stacked on top of each other but I can't freaking open it because the little hinge is in the way and I can't move it over because that little whatever that is for the water there so I can't move that that really sucks so I think I'm gonna have to put this one over here and then this one can just 
USB on itself and like I'll scoot it over a little bit. boxes of products that I have and I am just going to pick out a ton of different products and put them in this basket so I can put them into the guest room because I want all of my guests anyone to come over to use whatever they would like so I'm just gonna go through all of this pick out the products that I want fill the shower fill like all of those extra little clear bins that are underneath so far I picked out these two products from heritage I love heritage products and it smells so good body wash and then also their body scrub I'm also going to add in this body lotion and this one is a cherry and amber scent and I've never smelled this. It smells really good. I'm also going to fill the shower with like shampoo, conditioner, like body wash, all that kind of stuff. So whenever someone visits, they don't even have to bring their own stuff. They don't have to worry about anything. I'm going to go through all of this and see what we can come up with. finally finished the cabinets at the bottom and I want to show you guys how I organize them. Here's a little overview of what it all looks like. There are still some products that I think I'm going to add and I did put some on the side here. On this side, I was actually able to stack it. I just had to scoot it over a little bit so it ended up working out. On the top, I have this like hot pad so if you use any like hot tools on the counter, you just set this on top of it. And then I have some dry shampoo, some hairspray, some volumizing spray, and then this is heat protectant spray this is like my favorite stuff it's from day in the top drawer here i have all of my hair rollers i had so many so i'm very happy that i was able to organize these below here i have all of the hair tools that i own i have a face mask in here and i want to buy some more and put some in here and then i also have this peach slices jelly mask which i love peach slices i love their skincare it's always so good i always use their pimple patches which reminds me that i also want to put some pimple patches in here in the second drawer i have have all of the hair clips that you would ever need scrunchies and some regular hair things in this drawer I want to put in some like random makeup products I have two products in here right now I'll see surreal mascara by Maybelline I also have the L'Oreal infallible powder lastly at the very top I actually have so many products in here but this drawer is going to be the skincare drawer so if anyone needs to wash their face or put moisturizer on I have so many products in here a body lotion and then some hand sanitizer and then I have another cleanser in there that I just figured I would add in here just in case but that is everything that's in the cabinet some more products in here but what I have in here so far I think is pretty good I need a container to put q-tips in so I'm gonna put that right there I have my color contacts and then I have a comb here I have just like a whole bunch of different hair products some hair oil after they get out of the shower after they do their hair I have some eye drops these little capsules are like hair oil capsules so interesting and then I have this hair oil I have one in my bathroom so I decided to put another one in here. This is the Fable in Maine hair oil. That's everything that is in the first drawer. Going to the second drawer, I kind of put all of my extra hair. Like I have a ton of these flexi rods, which are for like heatless styling. I have all of these just like in here and some extra hair rollers, some extra hair rollers, and just like a ton of other flexi rods. I also put some products in the shower. So I want to show you guys also. So I added some more products down here and I want to go through all of
all of them and show you them. First up at the bottom here, I have some of this Teal's like bubble bath. I have some body wash here and then two shampoos. And then I also have this body scrub. I wanted to add a second shampoo and conditioner just in case like if anyone has preferences, they could choose between whichever one that they want to use. I had no other place to put this. So this is the dog shampoo. So technically this is their bathroom. So I am going to keep this in here. I also have these bath salts that are really good and I really like these too. It's officially time to get started with the second bathroom. This is the ensuite bathroom that I have connected to my bedroom. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. Nothing really too special about this bathroom. I even have art hanging on the wall. So we're already doing a lot better. But this bathroom, it needs some serious organization. So that is the main culprit of this video is that closet because that closet is so messy. I'm an adult now. I need to organize my things. We're going to do that today with the Target organizers that I bought the other day. So let's get started. Okay, I think I'm done organizing everything. I would just want to show you guys what I all put into each little container. I have this container that is full of basically all the first aid supplies. Like I have like cold medicine in here, allergy medicine, like face mask. I'm gonna put on the top shelf also is just some like extra things. Like I have like some dental flossers. There are teeth whitening strips and then also like I had an extra thing of mouthwash. So I had some room left over so I decided to put in all of the like travel mini little things in here. I have like wrinkle eraser and this is like a mini dry shampoo. I also have this container that is full of skincare and some makeup products. Like I have some lashes in here. I do plan on using or if if they run out in our guest bathroom, then I will just switch them out for these products. I have extra makeup in here. I have some extra shades of things. So if my friends come over and they decide that they want them, I'll just give it to them. And I plan on getting more makeup vanity storage eventually because my makeup vanity doesn't have enough room. So I'm just going to put it in this container for now. I also have some of these hair products that I use basically every day or every time I wash my hair. And then the last two containers that I decided to use, I used for my perfumes at the top and I have all my hair accessories here at the bottom. But now is the fun part and we get to organize and put everything into the closet the way that I want and like kind of decorate and reorganize. It's the most fun part in this whole thing. So I'll get to that and I'll show you guys after I'm done. officially finished with the bathrooms and I'm so excited how they turned out. The before and after clips are absolutely crazy so I'll leave that to the end for you guys to see. But I'm gonna show you what the bathrooms look like now and just give you guys a little before and after. I honestly am so happy that I decided to do this. It was honestly such a daunting task that it took me forever to do this. Like guys, literal years I've lived here for so long and this is the first time I'm actually doing some organizing for our bathroom. So I'm gonna show you guys what our bathroom looks like, give you guys a little bit before and after for the final transformation. So if you are in any way, shape, or form like putting off organizing your bathroom or any part of your apartment or your house or anything, this is your sign to just bite the bullet and just do it. It feels so relieving and stress-free after like, what is this life of organization? <laughs> 